This is a simple kind of simulation. What we did in this range is we put here a random number, and there a random number, at the corners random numbers. And then we want a gradient in between them, so that we get in a 3D surface charge a nice pattern. So you can do that with formulas. So this cell has the average of the two surrounding cells to the left and to the right. Notice that it also includes itself. So you have to make sure that your iteration is set to, uh, let's say, some thousand iterations, which you usually do through File Options, and then you go to Formulas, and make sure that you enable Iterative Calculation. Okay. I'm going to cancel that for now. And just explain once more here the average of the one above and the one below and itself and also at the bottom and to the left and then in between we have an average of 3 by 3 cells including itself and that, that will do the job um, so we can also do that with Visual Basic to show you more on simulations I would recommend either this book or that book this does everything without VBA just with functions and formulas that one does everything with VBA you can find them at genesispc.com slash cdlist.htm this was the formula way we can also do it with Visual Basic Alt F11 and we put in Visual Basic in a module a subroutine that I called gradients I declared a few variables two of the object type and the rest is of the value type then I used the input box but not the regular one but from the application that's Excel's input box that allows you to select a range by default we put in there the active cell current region address make sure that the last argument type is always set to 8 so it returns a range and we capture that range with O range which is of the range type and set it then we turn iteration on we set the maximum iterations of Excel to 1000 we do automatic calculation then we activate on the active sheet the first chart object we have there is only one and then we set the source data space to O range which is the range which you have captured then in, instead of using O range all the time we use a with statement with O range and with and we calculate how many rows we have we store that in R dot that takes off from O range rows count and C holds the number of columns in the count if R is less than 3 or C is less than 3 then we say the range is too small and exit is up otherwise we do a do loop it starts here and it ends with loop until we use a message box with two options yes and no if the user says no it doesn't loop again anymore so we clear the content in dot cells don't forget the dot all these times current region clear context we make sure that the number format has only two decimals then we place a random number in the four corner cells those corner cells are 1 comma 1 row 1 column 1 then row 1 column C and the last one is row R column C we put random numbers in there then we replace the formula with values so they don't recalculate each time we do the rest of the formulas so we replace the formula with the value which is basically a pay special routine and then just that the user knows that the corners have been set then we fill the top and the bottom row first we do that with an R1C1 formula equals open your string double quotes equals average R the same row as the cell we happen to be in one column to the left up to the same row one column to the right that includes itself we do the same at the bottom too the same formula then we do the far left and the far right columns so the vertical ones so that is the average calculation on one row up in the same column one row down in the same column 
and we do that also for the right one. Then finally we fill the center cells. So we do one row up, one column to the left, up to one row down, and one column to the right. Then you probably want to, but you don't have to, replace the formulas with values like we did before. So I'm going to uncomment that out. Dot formula equals value. We loop until set, and don't forget at the end to set iteration to false. So now we can we have much more flexibility. Visual Basic does much more than just do the formula work. Control Shift G. That's the shortcut I assign to that thing. It highlights by default this one. I'm going to expand it by one row and one column. Okay, it. It puts the corner cells first. Random numbers. You see here what the four corners are, which is a 3D surface chart. And then it fills out the rest. And we get a nice curve 3D. If we repeat it, it will do the same again. I'm going to do it much more extensively. Of course, the chart gets more details. And that's the end result we got. If we repeat it again, you get very different results. And you keep doing that until you are tired of doing it. It's very exciting. All I want you to know is that you can find much more like this and much more intricate in these two books, 100 Excel simulations, with or without VBA.